Do you want to see what we saw in Guimaras? Upon arriving in the island province, my mind was abuzz with questions. Why haven't I been here before? What will today bring? What are the Guimaras nuns like? What's the story behind their smiles? What drives them? What moves them? Another day begins. As I breathe in the scenery, I'm reminded of the myth about Princess Gima and her lover, the slave Aras, and how they fought for their love. They left everything behind and vanished into the seas, never to be found again. A longing father's call is said to have since echoed in the wind, especially during stormy nights. Gima, Aras, Gimaras. Like Gima and Aras, these locals fight for their loves, earning a living, anchoring hopes, honoring passions. Let's move along. I look around and take in the sights in this small, quaint town where everybody seems to know everybody. Here, people dance to their own rhythm, and kids are allowed to be kids. This is a place where faith grows abundantly, where love is worth seeking, and peace and contentment are not just concepts to be grasped. The island knows your heart. There are whispers exchanged among the wind and trees. Are you where you want to be? Here, time crawls, and the locals have mastered the joy of simple living. Ito po yung liwit, liwit. What the sea gives, the people receive graciously. Gratitude simmers at the surface every day. They say Gimaras nuns are masters at building all kinds of boats and ships. Seeing how these men worked tirelessly, patiently, meticulously, I understood why. The sea is calm and inviting. It's the perfect place to ruminate on things. Am I someone who makes the most out of my life? Or am I just someone who's floating by? I see some fishermen getting ready to go out. This is something they have done countless times. Will today's catch make them smile? I hope so. Let's keep exploring. I see a man herding cows to a clearing so they can eat. The cows seem to know where they're going. How I wish I did too. We still have time. From a distance, I spot some locals gathering small shrimp for ginamos, or shrimp paste, a fermented delicacy. They 
spread the shrimp out on nets laid across a rocky sandbar for sun drying. This helps remove excess moisture from the shrimp while also disinfecting them naturally. They also dry out some fish, which can be fried or used for ginamos too. These fisher folk are some of the hardest working people you'll ever meet. Once a batch has dried out, it is immediately collected for selling in the market. Another day of work is done. Tomorrow, it all begins again. We headed next to Barangay Rizal where artisans build the most exquisite galleons. Nagsakta ko ang gumawa, 2009. Tinuruan na ako ng tatay ko ng gumawa nito. Unang ganito talaga yung nabinta ko dati, nabinta ko sa Muracay. Yung iba sa amin dito, nakapagtapos dahil dito. Ito yung talaga yung ginagawa ng mga ninuno namin dati. Yung iba, professional na dahil dito. It's the perfect symbolism of journeys. The ones we turn our backs on, and the ones we bravely take. Of course, one can't leave Guimaras without having some of its world-famous mangoes. Succulent, golden, and delightfully sweet. Can one ever be enough? It's almost time to go home. The locals send us off with a few more glimpses into their world. As I watched the kids play without a care, I thought of all the Gimaras nuns I met today. Their mirth, their resolve, and their quiet strength. How lucky we are to have met them in Gimaras. Mm -hmm.